And now we do it graphically. Using the market demand curve we created earlier, we'll enter the new income information into our table and plot the new market demand curve. OK, do this one with me. OK, so at a price of 7 rand, the quantity demanded is now 16 pieces. At 6 rand, it's 22 pieces. At a price of 5 rand, 28 pieces. At 4 rand, 34 pieces. At 3 rand, it's 40. At 2 rand, 46. And finally, at 1 rand, the quantity demanded is 52. Combining the points, we have a new market demand curve, which we will call D1, D1. Let's interpret these curves. What are the similarities and differences between curve D1, D1 and curve DD? Well, they're both downward sloping, but D1, D1 lies to the right of DD. We can say that the curve has shifted to the right. And the cause of this rightward shift is the increase in household income, which leads them to demand more of the good at any price. In economics, we say there was an increase in the demand for fried chicken. And there is a very important distinction to note, because demand is different to the quantity demanded. In general, we can say that a rise in income causes an increase in overall demand for a normal good. And this can be represented as a rightward shift of the